Today, we're archery hunting in Colorado for giant muleys. It's a story of a ghost. No guides, no outfitters. You're watching In Pursuit of Legends. Programming brought to you by Huskama Optics. Nothing safe within a thousand yards. Best of the West shooting systems. Long distance, precision, accuracy. Challenger Sports Bar. Legendary hunts call for epic celebration. 511 Tactical. Purpose built gear for life's most demanding missions. Shoot and see reactive targets. Shoot more, shoot better. The Land Leader. Find the best land for sale on the market today. Thank you for joining us on this week's episode of In Pursuit of Legends. On today's episode, we're gonna join longtime friend Lonnie. He's in from Kansas. Yeah. He was lucky enough to draw one of those coveted Colorado archery mule deer tags. We're gonna see if we can't get in front of one of them big shooters I've been watching all summer long. Absolutely, it's right around Thanksgiving. Those bucks are in full swing chasing those does. Hopefully Lonnie can get one of those big boys on the ground. Well, Unfortunately, it's the necessary evil here. We got to post up some of these properties for big mule deer. You know, I unfortunately did not draw a tag this year here in eastern Colorado, but my sister did. She drew a uh, late rifle tag. A couple buddies of mine drew some archery tags, so it's going to be a great time. But unfortunately, there's a lot of people that will trespass and even poach, especially on these big deer. You get these 190, 200 inch deer, and you got to do every little bit that you can. This won't stop all of it, but it will help. So. We got a few more signs to put up. We put up a bunch of signs last year and it helped a lot, but I was still getting trail camera pictures, even of just people on ATVs and walking around and just doing things they probably shouldn't be doing back there. But it's a couple sections here, so we're gonna get it all posted up. There were a few more spots that I wanted to throw signs up just because I felt like it was kind of weak on coverage, but we got a few more to set in. It's uh, a couple days here before June and um, we're just putting the homework in, getting it done. So. Come December 1st, Becky's got this rifle buck tag, and we had some huge bucks in this field right here last season, and ghost, and a couple other big giant deer. So I'm really excited. Even though I'm not the one holding the weapon this year, that's okay. We're gonna get some big deer down. All right, got the card. We'll get out of here before we educate any animals, but hopefully we got one of our big shooters on here. You know, I'm really looking for two deer in particular. I'm really trying to hope I see ghosts, but I haven't seen them all spring or all summer, so. But I'm sure Pretty Boy's on here, he's been in here a lot. But it was imperative today to make sure we came in here undetected, made sure no deer seen us. You know, the season's less than four weeks out. Well, thank you for joining me on this week's segment of Behind the Badge. Behind the Badge is developed by us police officers to give you, the general public, tips and ways that may minimize you becoming a victim of certain crimes. You know, one of the most prevalent crimes in the United States today is motor vehicle theft. During the cold and winter months, we see an increase in this type of crime. It's generally because vehicles are left unattended while warming up. We in law enforcement call this puffing. 
the owner of the vehicle goes outside, starts the vehicle, leaves it unlocked and unattended, goes back into their place of business or home, and waits for the vehicle to warm up. This becomes a crime of opportunity. It only takes a split second for someone walking down the street to jump into your vehicle or a criminal looking for a running unattended motor vehicle to get in and leave. Oftentimes when we recover these vehicles later on, we find that they're completely vandalized, totaled, or have been used in other crimes. So do me a favor, next time you warm up your vehicle, stay with it at all times. Thank you for watching this week's segment of Behind the Badge. From hunting and shooting sports to law enforcement and tactical applications, Huskama has you covered. These scopes are built to last and come with the best glass in the industry, offering you unparalleled low light capabilities, all topped with a patented custom windage enabled BDC turret. And now, after two years of field testing, Huskama is pleased to bring you the new HD binoculars. No matter your optical needs, the Huskama advantage is crystal clear. Innovation and forward thinking often lead to greatness. And when you believe in what you make, the comfort, quality, and reliability of Crossbreed become a part of you. Carry concealed, carry comfortably, carry the cross. Argo Extreme Off-Road Performance. Amphibious UTV. New Argo 8x8 XTI. New Mossy Oak Infinity Camel Pattern. Starting at 9995. Visit ArgoUTV.com slash special. Fog pod, monopods, bipods, tripods, and accessories are the most versatile line of shooting sticks available. All bog pod shooting rests are switcheroo compatible. The switcheroo system allows you to interchange systems for multiple uses all throughout the year. Versatility defined. Accuracy anywhere. Fog pod. Big deer, Lonnie. Big deer. Big dark rack buck. Have to get around and see who he is. That's a big deer. I can't tell who it is or how good he is, but he's got a big dark rack on him. All right, boy, let's go try to get closer. Go figure. Well, that's the buck we've been chasing after. Literally, he was back here to the west just less than a day ago. And we were hoping for him to come up in this little group of pines. We have this property back here to the east. And literally, we must have just missed him. We've checked a few other properties today. Lonnie and I seen some other good deer. He wanted to pass on some 150 class deer. Good for him. There's some bigger deer out here. And um, we missed him, bud. Literally just missed him. He's maybe 75 to 100 yards on the other side of the fence where we can't hunt. We're heading out to meet Lonnie again. It's November 28th. He's been out here for the past few days. We came really close the last couple days killing Ghost. Lonnie actually came into full draw on Ghost. Had him at about 60 yards, but he turned and was following a doe and left. Kind of funny and ironic. Ghost had done the same thing to me last year. Same place, almost the exact same time. You know, that buck's been really putting it to us. I, <laughs> I just never... I've never seen an, an animal be so lucky or so fortunate. Seems like he's always one step ahead of us. But unfortunately for us, the past couple days, he's been on the west side of the property in this big overgrown weed field. He's in there piled in with about 35 or 40 does. And I'll tell you, it makes it really tough. We're really hoping that he's going to go east into these big pine draws. If he goes east, we have a shot. There's a lot more cover and... Uh, we should be able to slip in. At least give us an opportunity to go after him. We got a good one spotted. Lonnie's out here with me in eastern Colorado. We're trying to get him on his best mule ever. We got a uh, big buck that I know all too well. Ghost, we named him. If you follow our show long enough, I'm sure you've seen him in some footage or trail cam pics or whatnot. But awesome deer. Made upper 180s for sure. He might go 190. He's got so much mass, I really just can't be too certain, but he's bedded down here with a hot doe. We got into about 80 yards, and uh, sure enough, you know, it wasn't close enough. He's in a perfect spot for us to make a move on him. We'll see, November 28th. Could be the end of Ghost, we hope. Ready? Here we go.
You know, we're always looking for products to make our life easier and make things faster, kind of speed things up. We teamed up with Caldwell and their shooting accessories. We found the AR-15 mag charger. It'll load any AR-15 magazine in a matter of seconds. Check this out. You load the AR-15 mag charger up with 50 rounds of 223, which can easily be transferred from a 50 round box. Insert the magazine, pull out the plunger. All you gotta do is pump, pump, pump. Next thing you know, you have a completely topped off AR-15 magazine and you're ready to continue shooting. Well, that's how easy it really is. You insert your magazine into the AR-15 mag charger, pump the plunger, once your magazine's topped off, you're ready to continue shooting. Whether you're a predator hunter, a competition shooter, or just a weekend plinker shooting your AR-15, the AR-15 mag charger is definitely what you need in your gear bag. In 2001, Best of the West began the legacy of long range hunting. Since then, our craft has dramatically evolved using the finest components available with state-of-the-art machining methods. The only way to reach the highest standard of quality is by doing it ourselves. Best of the West shooting systems. Thank you for joining me on today's Tactic for Success. Today I want to spend a little bit of time talking about the most fundamentally important aspect of being a successful hunter, and that's playing the wind. The wind dictates everything that we do as hunters. Where we go, what stands we're hunting, the direction we're going to move in on a big buck or bull. Regardless of the animals we're hunting, we always, always play the wind. And that's whether we're hunting with a bow or with a rifle or a muzzleloader. The wind dictates how, when, and where we move. It's imperative to always keep the wind in your face. The wind is constantly changing, and when the wind makes a change, you need to make a change. Nothing will educate an animal you are hunting faster than if they wind you, and your chances of taking or harvesting that animal are going to be greatly reduced. Before each and every hunt, we go to weather.com to see what the weather's doing, particularly the wind. What's the wind direction? What's the wind speed? That's where planning and preparation long before the season opens comes into play. We have multiple stand sets throughout the properties that we hunt to accommodate wind shifts. If we're in a stand and the wind changes, we climb down, we make an adjustment that is more advantageous to us to be able to keep that wind in our face. We use tools to help us understand the wind, wind checkers and wind meters. These help us understand what the wind's doing and helps us always keep the wind in our face. No question that wind is the most fundamentally important aspect of all successful hunters. Always remember, keep the wind in your face and when the wind changes, you make a change. Thanks for watching this week's Tactic for Success. All right. We got a pretty good situation going. We got ghost a couple hundred yards up in front of us here. There's these steep banks on the east side of this big pine draw. Our hopes are to sneak down through here. And if I remember correctly from the past years of hunting here, it stays pretty steep all the way up to where we get to him. It looks like there's a good washout. And if we can get to that last washout, we should be within shooting distance. But the Lord blessed us. He just changed the wind to the northeast here. And I'll tell you what, we needed that. Otherwise, there wasn't going to be a shot. No. We got a good wind. Thankfully, the snow has just melted in the last day or two. And the ground's relatively moist and wet. So it's masking a lot of our sound. Our sound and our scent are covered. Now, if we can just get in there and he doesn't see us, we're good. Here goes neighbor. Let's go after him.
Vlog Zero is a series of treatment and cleaning products for glass and reflective surfaces developed by chemists and pharmacists. The formula is eco-friendly and effective for up to 30 days after treatment. This kit contains everything you need to effectively and quickly treat and clean your glass products. The results are unparalleled and the lasting quality of the product is incredible. That was the stock of all stocks, ladies and gentlemen. We slipped in on him probably 28 yards. Oh my god. Beast. Beast. You know what got that deer up? That little buck. We had that little buck at 20 yards. He got up and started working his way over there and the big guy got up. I'm like, draw, draw, draw. Mid 180s are better, for sure. I've been chasing that deer, oh god, since 2011. <laughs> Took Lonnie to come in here to get it done. <laughs> right, oh boy. Huge deer on the ground, baby. Yeah, day Ooh. after Thanksgiving. Time to pay thanks, huh? I'm not telling you. Oh my god. I owe you big time, buddy. <laughs> no, man. I shot a big white tail out of Kansas as you were good. <laughs> oh, buddy, he's a beast. Oh, man. I can't believe it. Dude, you smoked. Oh, god, I, I heard it hammer it hard. It was like, I think it went clear through, didn't it? Oh, yeah. So. It was. I mean, we just played the wind, came right in here. He couldn't hear us, couldn't see us. Heck, when we came over, he was, I'm pretty sure he was laying up sleeping, but. Yep, yeah, we've been after him for three days. Been watching him for three days, morning and night, and he finally made that mistake. He did. So. Sometimes it could take a whole season before they make that mistake, and you got to be prepared and ready. And, you know, Lonnie shoots all the time, always shooting, and that's, that's what it takes, you know, to be sharp because you don't want to spend – two, three months hunting a deer and that moment finally comes and you may only get it once. So, Make it count. a lot of times with a deer like that, you only get a couple in a whole lifetime. So, mm -hmm. you really gotta make them stick. And you sure did. I did. Oh my God, <laughs> what a giant. <laughs> I'm so pumped we closed the chapter on a deer that I've watched since he was three and a half years old. Well, here's Ghost, a seven and a half year old buck that we've been chasing for years. And I first spotted this buck in 2011 on the trail cameras. Tried to get him killed then and couldn't make it happen. He disappeared in 2012, found him in 2013. Lonnie actually filmed me try to get this deer killed last fall. I just couldn't make it happen. You know, it's just a, a very humbling moment for us here. I mean, it's a buck we've been watching for so many years, so much history with him and so many close opportunities, close calls. He's just a smart old buck. Fortunately for us today, we were able to, uh, you know, change the uh, tide here a little bit and put some things into our favor. and. Caught him sleeping and made a perfect stock, had the wind in our face, and just a fantastic hunt. What do you think, Lonnie? Sounds good. It's a fantastic deer. Um, happy to get him. And, uh, yeah, it's a good deer, buddy. Thanks. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. Congratulations. You bet. So we still have our work cut out. You know, Steve's got an archery tag yet. Becky's rifle tag opens in three days. We got some other big deer to get after, but we have our work cut out today. We're going to be doing some celebrating, that's for sure. You know, it's a little bit humbling, I'm a little bit sad, but at the same time, I'm very happy, very happy to close the chapter on Ghost, and it couldn't have happened to a better guy. Thanks, buddy. Good job, Thanks, man. You bet. Thanks. Thanks again for watching this week's episode of In Pursuit of Legends. Well, here he is, what a hunt. Ghost, right here. 
Waited many years to put our hands on them. Good job, Thanks, my man. Thanks, buddy. Thanks. What a fantastic deer. Bladed beams all the way to the end. That was a good one. Let's get him taken care of getting another right, one down. Let's go. God, look at that. Woo. Ghost, baby. We got ghost. We had a ton of history with that buck known as Ghost. It took us four years, but we were finally able to put our hands on him. You know, Ghost only had a 24 and a half inch outside spread. Once we were able to get a tape on him, we were amazed on what he scored. What do you think he scored? Check us out after the episode for a live discussion on Facebook. Programming brought to you by Huskama Optics. Nothing safe within a thousand yards. Best of the West shooting systems, long distance, Precision, accuracy, Challenger Sports Bar. Legendary hunts call for epic celebration. Top brass, powder, bullet, done. The Attractor Max, bring your predator calling to the max. From Johnny Stewart, Wildlife Calls. Fog Pod, versatility defined, accuracy anywhere. What a magnificent buck. That thing is a slob. It took Lonnie from Kansas to get it done. Yes, it did. Great job, buddy. You know, Ghost was on the hit list for years. He was number one on my hit list forever, it seems like. And every time I'd seem to get in front of that buck, something always went awry. He'd turn and go the other way. He'd bust us. He'd wind us. He'd catch me trying to climb into a tree stand. Right. And sure enough, it took Lonnie to draw that coveted tag. All summer long, I'd watch that buck. I didn't. I was the only one who didn't have a tag. Right. And sure enough, a couple days into the hunt, Lonnie was able to uh, get in front of him, caught him sleeping with a hot doe, and knocked him down. Thanks for watching this week's episode of In Pursuit of Legends. Be sure to follow us on Facebook and join us at InPursuitOfLegends.com. God bless.